game is I am a referee. Right when the action is heating up. Because remember, the important part is not to have a balanced, fair competition. It is to have fun. Because that is why we are uniting under eSports today. We do have one Linko spawning in the bottom left corner. Any Linko fans? Oh, my goodness. The vocal cords are getting tired in Team Linko. Let's, okay, everyone in the room give a cheer for Linko. Linko is hot. I actually saw him in there, and I, I shivered a little bit. I respected how attractive he was. We do see SPS Magician in the top right as the Blue Terran. Magician will perhaps be going for the same thing. Now, I do have to ask, are there any Magician fans in here? Yeah! Yeah. That's my dogs. UCLA... Uh, players, SPS Magician, as many of you know, I actually used to work at UCLA. Oh, oh, yes, that is correct. I made educational math research games played by the shittiest kids you will ever meet. We went to these schools with like these, um, I, I can't remember what age range it was. I think it was like freshman and sophomore high schoolers, you know, uh, of at-risk children, you know, the kids who were like in high school for like nine years like these these sort of students and and they would all they would all just constantly like text on their phone be like this game sucks oh i'm 15 god i'm gonna move in with my girlfriend we're in love <laughs> all day but the game was awesome i will admit and so is ucla right yeah. wow you guys like magician more than you like ucla that's cool that's cool i respect it we do see SPS Magician now swinging on through. Going to the bottom left corner, we do see that there is the Marine getting produced. There is the Orbital Command getting Orbital Commanded. Nothing noteworthy coming out from either player. Again, the second gas guys are the biggest indicator of what sort of strategy will be going down there is the Supply Depot for SPS Magician. We do see the SPS Magician continuing to poke around a scout around. Oh, no. Will he lose his first SCV? Oh, he's getting away. He's getting away. Get him. Track him down, Linko. Track him down. Get him. Uh, oh! Oh, Michael Jackson is scouting out this base. The spirit lives within this SCV. He's, he's juking. He's going to the right. He's going left. Oh, no. Oh, he's going back down. Is he going to get it? Oh! SPS Magician starting out at a little bit of a disadvantage. Linko building the other add-on. No reactor this game. It is going to be a tech lab. Linko now heading down to the natural expansion. Will he be building a command center? Yes. Yes, he will. There's a command center going down. We do see Magician doing the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is the command center going down right now for Magician. Looks like both of them doing the same things. Magician playing a little bit more defensively. Doesn't want to do anywhere close to the same opening he did last game. Neither does Linko. Factory going down now for El Linko. We do see that there is the stim pack getting research for Magician. Look at how early that stim pack is. He doesn't even have another barracks. He, he has one unit that can use stim pack, and he's getting stim pack. What a boss. We do see that there is now the Reaper heading over to this cliff. This does all allow a little bit of scouting entry. And oh no, it looks like he doesn't really have too much there to be able to do as much spotting as he would like. Linko now heading up to the north side of the map to do the same amount of scouting as well. And uh-oh, uh-oh. Is there anything there to defend? No. Oh, no. Magician. Bam. 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 And he finally kills off something. There's the Marauder showing up, just demuling the opponent. He will have to mule again another day. One kill on that Reaper. At the same time, Linko's Reaper saying, hey, that seems like a pretty good idea. I'm going to do that too. We do see more barracks going down for Magician. Love this little wall-off business he's doing, helping to contain a little bit harder against things like the uh, Hellions, against various drops. Look at this, already having a nice little wall-off here. No thank you, Reaper. No entry admitted, except right there. Never mind. Oh, no. Two kills. Oh, Linko fans should be freaking out right now. Oh, Magician fans. That's right. We have to direct the crowd. Directing the crowd. 
Linko now uh, moving over to get the tech lab onto his starport. We see the tank en route. Orbital command is done. Orbital command done for Magician, but not as done as the opponent's. Hasn't even moved yet. It's going to mule, it's going to lift, and it's going to move. Stim now finishing for Magician, which means he should be starting Combat Shield very, very soon. The only reason that you would ever want Stim that early is if you wanted Combat Shield early so you could do a timing push. At this point in time, there's really no purpose to have gotten the Stim at this phase in the game, so I'm going to continue to click there yes indeed there's the combat shield going down double reactor mass marines we even have two of those refineries down right now interesting to see what magician will use that gas for we do see that the banshee is coming out right now for linko at this point in the game, even though not that much has happened, I would put the advantage a little bit in the favor of Linko. I do like his style a little bit more on this map, in particular because if you just plant a whole bunch of siege tanks in this center area, you can lock down a lot of the necessary expansions for you for the remainder of the game. Linko, of course, even getting the Banshee, so that way he can abuse the fact that Banshees are imbalanced. <laughs> we are now seeing more mules come down. Yeah, woo! There's the missile turret going down right now. Magician playing very, very cautiously. There's another missile turret. Will he actually build a second one over here? Nope. Going to go right back to mining. There are more Marines getting produced right now. No other real noteworthy structures looking around the base. We see the most vulnerable engineering bay known to man over at the left side. There is the bunker down playing very, very calmly. We have the Marines from Linko also maneuvering through the center of the map. But this one lone Marine from our Blue Terran buddy will help to control it. Reaper also managing the south side. Ooh, Linko opting for that mech again. I even teased him a little bit about his mech play on Taldarim Altar. Really think he should have gone for his more solid mech style on Crossfire, but now he's finally bouncing back to it, so I'm delighted to see that is the case. There is the Raven going down right now, and the money scan at this point. We do see that the Blue Terran player, S -S Magician, sees everything that's going on, but such passivity with this Marine Marauder Force could easily advance that a little bit farther forward looking at the mini map we do see that there is this one banshee that is over at the right side just now starting to rack up a couple of kills there's the stim linko not paying attention oh linko Ooh. that that was a little bit newbie yeah yeah that's one of those classic mistakes that happens when you're playing in an uncomfortable situation interestingly watching the mini map and trying to maintain focus a lot of that relates to comfort with your setup we would call that a little bit of a blunder of inexperience but linko does have the experience so the only real explanation is that he is not quite comfortable um playing in this environment very, very common for a lot of hardcore laddering online players. Not used to the offline LAN experience, but man, SPS Magician playing quite well. Stockpiling a good amount of gas, continuing to get Marines, Marauders. There is the double reactor starport coming up. So we can do double medevac production. Linko, though, I will say, throughout this entire series, he's been very responsible about continuing to add on lots and lots of expansions. This will allow him to constantly get a, a swelling resource count. We do see SPS Magician uh, now moving out to take perhaps his third expansion. And in the meantime, we do see there's that plus one um, vehicle weapons. Magician now moving out through the center of the map. Looks like he has not begun to add on too much more. There, it looks like, again, he's transitioning into the tanks, also getting more barracks. No medevacs have yet been produced, but Magician is encroaching into Linko territory. Uh-oh, Linko has not quite established foothold in the center of the map. He needs to be very careful about that. The Reaper now for Magician, also darting through mid, and there, Linko's finally getting a little bit of a sigh of relief as he does manage to secure... Ooh does manage to secure the center region of the map. This is essential. We do see that missile turret down for Linko. Love this missile turret placement with the exception that the SCV is walled in. So he will have to just go up there with a, with a squad and execute it. Expansion Command Center now about half done for Magician. Uh, looks like the bunker is still up at the front. We see second factory going down now for Magician. Magician can do a little bit more antics with his Marine Medivac Marauder Force, but Linko seems to be trying to play as defensively as possible. Again, doing another one of these even map splits, even walking his Vikings back home. What a, what a sign of safety. We are seeing more factories come down. It looks like he will eventually be researching that Blue Flame Hellion. A lot of expanding going on by Linko. Linko seems to have an extremely strong grasp on the mixture of tank placement plus expanding. But Magician is a little bit better with those tactical precision plays. Piercing into the opponent's front. 
Now, this, this set of destructible rocks is becoming an increasingly large vulnerability for Linko, as is this top one. Magician will be very wise to take out those. Those would open up a little bit of bonus paths to move in for the attack. In the meantime, we are seeing the blue flame go down for Linko. More tanks. Banshees might seem like a little bit of a weird choice, but I do love getting just a few Banshees if our opponent is also getting tanks as well. Very easy way to pick off poorly placed tanks and helps ab abuse a Terran player who doesn't have the appropriate composition. There's a Destructible Rock going down. Uh-oh, he might easily be able to swing up there. A Scan Planet here would be huge. There are the tanks from Linko sieging up. Pulled back a little bit, and oh, there's one tank from Linko. Does manage to get some good kills off, but now Linko having to unseige and move up. If Magician scans, he can possibly get into a great position, but no, Linko is going to be able to siege up in time. Uh-oh. Trying to pull back a little bit, and again, with the double Banshee, triple Banshee now, he can easily pick off anything that is in an awkward situation. In the meantime, at the rally point, we're seeing more medevacs, more marines and marauders getting stockpiled up. A couple more barracks, but not as many unit-producing structures from that Terran player as we would like to see. But man, Magician now moving up to this north side, and there seems to be nothing there to defend against it. It looks like Linko is aware of it, sending the Banshees up north. But do they have Cloak? No, they do not. However, I do think that if he does throw down a bunch of auto turrets and uses the force of those Banshees, he'll be in great shape. Oh yes, what an amazing composition to deal with. With this little force very very smart play there is the siege up and keep in mind these auto turrets last three minutes in game time so that doesn't mean that they will be able to stay alive but oh no and it looks like magician trying to pierce a hole in the center of the map and he will be able to do it picking off those tanks with ease linko having a few left over but not having the focus to pick them off it does look like linko is preoccupied with this north end of business but with all the planetary fortresses over Kingdom Come, he has to still advance with caution. So that although a great bust for Magician, he's still going to have to continue to play very smart if he wants to be able to pierce in here. Linko having a little bit of disorganization with these units now, sieging up the tanks. Will he be able to pick them off? No! Blue Flame Hellion kill on the tank. Very cool. Torch on that tank. And interestingly, Magician now caught in a little bit of a bind, going to load right on up into the medevacs and skedaddle on out. Or will he? He may very well just try to advance south into the main. It looks like he's target firing one of the medevacs that does have units in it. It's down to eight health, and he does! No, he doesn't get it! Unloading directly into the main, but Linko is just obsessed with defense. Seems to have units sieged up everywhere. Where are those Vikings? Those are just free medevacs for the taking. Linko in an absolutely incredibly strong lead after defending that. 165 versus 124. It may go to an exciting and deciding game five. And there we see a Marine for Linko in that bottom right corner doing a good amount of spotting magician now trying to recoup trying to set things up in the center of the map there is the vehicle plating upgrade an interesting choice unless he does have a second forge again this ghost play really wanting to get nukes not just because they will help break tank lines but because they're also fucking awesome we're also seeing more marines starting to dart in getting picked off turn into little tiny dark charcoal burns now Linko starting to advance forward through the middle of the map. Uh, we already see the, the uh, auto turrets plus the point defense drone now finally beginning to run out of energy. Linko not quite saturating the gas geysers as he could. There's the plus three infantry weapons. Magician still maintaining a little bit of focus on the infantry while we're seeing Linko maintain focus on the mech. There's the scan. Ooh, and the cloak going down for Linko could be very wise as we're seeing a lot of planetary fortresses from this player. Oh, Aaliyah's online. Nice. We are seeing SPS Magician in the bottom right continue to set up more expansions, but Linko is doing a good job encroaching farther forward with his huge food lead, but don't count Magician out yet. He is... Oh, is he getting battle cruisers? Uh-oh, I see all those starports down. Oh, he is! I found a fusion core, you guys! I found it! There it is, and we are seeing some battle cruisers. Will eventually get made once a Magician ends up getting any amount of money. He is dead broke right now. Linko... Continuing to advance forward, but looks like Linko was quite prepared. He is getting double Viking production. Does not want to sack control of the skies. Nukes! 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 Linko fans! Oh my god. And I will. Oh, I just, I can't wait. I cannot wait. This is going to be one of the most exciting moments of StarCraft II history. If some nukes can get successfully planted, and it looks like the missile turret... 
does manage to repel. Magician now getting in a little bit of defensive mode himself. Now, Linko does have quite a bit of money. He is maxed. Magician dead broke, but is also maxed as well. So we're starting to see all these destructible rocks in the center get picked off. Players opening up more and more attack paths. Magician trying to manage that center with his tank lines. Uh-oh, it looks like a couple of tanks getting caught off guard. Do manage to get picked off. Magician doing a good job trying to cup around this center part of the map. It is a four base versus five base scenario. Linko building his command center a little bit too far away from these Vespian guys. He's going to have to put four in there to maximize the mining of it. But look at this. Two battle cruisers coming out right now for Magician. But little does he know that there are a lot of Vikings out on the map. Oh no, with air superiority. Going to be able to dart right in there. Has to retreat due to the superior Viking counts. These Banshees going to be beginning to clean up. This is a very, very strong position to be in as Linko. Not a lot of Banshees, but again, just a few can easily punish units that are getting caught out of position. But I do believe that Magician does have the uh, air-to-air -air weapons upgraded. So that does mean he has a little bit of an edge in the skies, but keep in mind, three ghost academies, three sets of nukes potentially available. How many ghosts are on the map? Looks like one ghost. Where is he? Where is that ghost? I found him, you guys. Don't worry. Here's the ghost starting to advance forward. He's going to be able to get into a little bit of a better position if he does research that cloak upgrade. Nukes so important for being able to control those tank lines, and there's a scan on both sides. This one tank is caught off guard, so that does manage to get picked off. It does look like there's, again, the Venn diagram, and there's the scan. He still sees it. Uh-oh. Yep, wait just a second. Wait for that scan to be done, and there it is. There it's going down. It is going down. There's another scan. Okay, back up. Okay, wait, hold on. And there it is. There's a nuke going down. He can potentially try to pick it off, but oh my god, it looks like the nuke getting increasingly close to landing. Oh my god, there's the nuke! It's going to land right there. All right. Oh! Just had to make sure everyone in the room was paying attention to the key point of action. Keep in mind, there are two more. Uh-oh, there's another rescan. And oh, there's another nuke. There's another nuke going down right now. Will he notice? He's advancing forward with everything, and it looks like he's getting increasingly close to getting done. And oh, he's sieging up more tanks. Oh, no! And the nuke lands. This is going to let Linko continue to advance farther and farther forward. And look at that giant tank siege force moving forward. But uh-oh, two battle cruisers out in the field. But it looks like he's whipping back around. He will pick off the Raven. No, it looks like, wow, Magician with the battle cruiser transition. Now moving on and nuke this, Linko. He, he may very well, actually. Here come the ghosts. He's advancing into enemy lines. And it looks like the complete and total air domination from Magician just doing wonders. There is the ground forces now advancing and sieging and trying to break and it looks like Magician may have very well done it, but it looks like the ghosts are splitting up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One nuke, two nuke maybe, and it looks like it's gonna land! Oh, man, just to get the huge hit of the expansion. Will he end up remembering that he has another ghost? Does he even have it? No, he needs to wait. Go hide in the corner, ghost. Go hide in the corner. SCVs from Linko sacrificing themselves so that way Linko can free up a little bit more food. We see a lot of orbital commands. Wow, he just, he just will not actually need SCVs anymore. He can literally mule everything which means that he is going to be in a very, very good position if he can get up the air superiority. Where are these rallied? They're still rallied to mid. The air unit count is much, much higher right now for a magician. Look at that. Five battle cruisers out on the field and only two Vikings for Linko, who's still making tanks and Hellions. Tanks and Hellions not very good against those. <gasps> Uh-oh, the second layer of nukes. The third layer of nukes. Will he notice? Will he notice? And it looks like he's picked off one, but he's missing the more important nuke. He doesn't see it. Oh, no! At the last second, Magician pulling back. The Ghost is going to have to pull back to the corner. More Blue Flame Hellions trying to advance farther and farther forward. Linko right now is trying to buy time. He has a lot of orbital commands. I would not worry about his ability to get mules. There you go, baby. 
He's going to be just trying to mine as much as possible. Look at that income. The nukes have been extremely effective, but keep in mind that the overall army of Magician is so huge. Linko having to pull back. Magician with the epic comeback, pulling himself back into the game. Now Linko is the player on the back foot. We see another ghost in the middle there with 13 kills. Sergeant Ghost could potentially pop in for another nuke. And uh-oh, losing that watchtower. Linko in a very, very dangerous position at that south side. Now that those rocks are getting taken down, high sec auto tracking to help him do a little bit more damage to the skies. Linko continuing to mule like crazy. I hear a nuke somewhere. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it looks like the siege tank does scan. Who's going to win, the nuke or the siege tank? The siege tank, interestingly. Uh-oh, we hear another nuke going down. Very, very interesting placement right there. Going to be quite hard to spot in time. Doesn't look like Magician is going to be able to pick it off. And uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. The nuke landing right in time. Magician saying you're not going to kill enough units here. Hold on. Flying the Vikings in just in time. Linko, now if you do build this many orbital commands, it's important you keep that energy nice and low, and that is exactly what we're seeing Linko do. There's the Thor in the unit mix, and uh-oh, uh-oh, Linko feeling confident in the skies, but no, it looks like Magician still has just a few too many units. Sergeant Ghost moving in. Sergeant Ghost sneaking up onto the high ground. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Looks like he's going to be doing a little bit of a split up. Action has to be very, very careful. And there it is. There's the nuke beginning to head down. And now he's going to hang out by the siege tank. He would be wise to go right there. Oh, no, don't shoot the tank. Uh-oh, no, and it does manage to get a huge hit. Linko hanging in the game with nukes. There's the rescan going on. Magician just getting nuked to pieces. You don't even see as many nukes in Command and Conquer. This is great. That's a joke that not that many people will get, but it was so worth it. Does look like this ghost still hanging out. Has hold fire, which is another, which is basically the calm the fuck down button. You're a ghost. You're supposed to be secretive. Hold fire. And it looks like there's the scan. And all he ends up detecting is a burning refinery. We do see Sergeant Ghost hanging out by the left side. We are seeing Linko begin to mass up tanks and Vikings, still trying to produce a decent Viking count, still abusing the amount of orbital commands that he doth have, and also using a lot of nuclear missiles. No. He... Uh, uh, he needs to... Oh, no, he has three nukes. I'm sorry, I completely misread that. Yeah, his... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, is he going to see it? Is he going to see it? It looks like he's moving around. Does he notice that there is, in fact, that little red dot there? Oh, no! Magician! Oh! Link, oh, just feeling extremely confident this phase in the game. Misses the opportunity for the point defense drone. The air army of Magician is not getting smaller anytime soon. That is the one thing that Magician does have going for him. He is going to force these tanks to retreat again and again and again. We even see more Thors getting produced for Linko, but Thors are just so bad against air. Vikings really the only solution that he can be building at this point. These battle cruisers just ripping everything apart, and it looks like the ghost. Moving out right as he's about to run out of energy. He's trying to move forward. Will he get detected? And four, three, two, one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's still on hold fire. <laughs> he's not revealing his position. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cloak. Cloak, get out of there. Oh, no. Get. Oh. No more nuking. No more fun. Meanwhile, in the unit counting station, we see... 47 SCVs versus 71, especially impressive. That Magician's SCV count is that high, given the amount of uh, hostility that Linko has been unleashing on him. Linko, again, finding his units, an important technique in StarCraft II to know where your units are at. Looks like we will see a couple more nuclear freaking missiles get researched. Linko continuing to churn out as much anti-air as he can. I would even advise against just cutting out all that tank production really needs to continue to advance really needs to push hard against this mass air force of the opponent we're seeing magician continue to mass up marines marauders vikings battle cruisers no more tanks in that mix even getting the weapon refit it is the yamato cannon upgrade i don't know why it isn't just called yamato cannon 
But that is fine. That is what he is researching. We're seeing the infantry weapon level 2 get researched now. And if we take a trip around Magician's base, we see a good amount of unit-producing structures. We do hear a nuke going down. There it is, going down at the north expansion. Will he end up noticing? Where even is that ghost? I can't find it. Where is it? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Goodbye, tank. And, oh, it was right there. It got picked off. Nice. Very good. Way to be, Magician. There's the siege up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not if you're a Magician fan or a Linko fan. It's if you're a nuclear bomb fan, and everyone's a nuclear bomb fan. It's what brings the world together. We're seeing the SCVs decide to participate in military proliferation, picking off the missile turret. No SCV, whatever, that's fine. That's good. Uh, helping to reduce his food count yet more. Linko has a surprisingly high SCV count, given the fact that he has this many mules on the map. We see, oh my god. God, that's a lot of Ghost Academies. He has like 15 up nukes that he can throw down at any given point in time. Magician not forgetting the power of the counterattack. More SCV sacking going on. There's the Battlecruisers caught off guard. Oh, no. A huge blunder right there. Now Magician picking off everything in the back of the base. There's the stem. Going to begin cleaning that out, hollowing out the back of the base. Unit producing structures just getting absolutely mauled, but a ghost at the front lines. Uh-oh, uh-oh, a ghost now beginning to throw down. Magician does not seem to be aware of it. He is, and then, oh, I'm, but I'm a fan of nukes. Oh. We are now seeing the stim up. Linko sieging up in his main, picking off this force with the upgrades that he has. Look at that, 1-1. One, one. What? I thought he was 3-1. Definitely needs to begin upgrading more, but it looks like he's instead favoring the air weapon upgrade <laughs> and nukes. Looks like Magician now pulling back. This bottom expansion really has not gotten the chance to get running too strongly. And wow, Linko is doing an incredible job, continuing to apply pressure. The Thor is one of the best tank breaking units in the game. Busting it out. There's the scan in the middle. Looks like Linko starting to realize that the, the stranglehold that Magician had just 10 minutes ago starting to slowly slip. The double point defense drones. Getting thrown down. The Thors at the top side. Looks like in the center. There will have to be a full out retreat. Magician sacrificed two Marines to help all his tanks escape in time. I heard a nuke. I, I heard a nuke. Anyone see it? Does anyone see the nuke? Whoa! Interesting nuke placement. And he spots it in time. I don't believe it. Wow. But it looks like that one tank. <laughs> that's, that's how America nukes. We see three infantry over there. Nuke the whole country. America. We are seeing the double scan go on. The googly eyes of the scans joining up to make a face in the center of the map. Another ghost. Recruit ghost. Very nice siege mode placement. Notice it is out of range of those frontal tanks. Will he notice in time? He does, but can he retreat? Yes, he will be able to escape in time. Sieging up just outside of range, or will he be? That's kind of close. Yes. <laughs> oh, and look, we saw just a little bit of guts come out of that tank. It does look like Linko continuing to encroach, trying to protect those counterattack pads. And oh, the Thors have taken out the top expansion. Where will you mind, Magician? How will your magics help you now? You are broke. Uh-oh. More sieging going on in the center of the map. He's just barely within tank range. And there's the hit. Is there a medevac going to be able to heal it? He's moving forward with everything. But oh, he target fired the ghost. He knows how important it is to stop nuclear freaking bombs. Now, where is another ghost from Linko? That is all I care about in this game anymore. <laughs> it looks like he is sacrificing more SCVs. Thor's decided to get brave up at the north side. They're taking some heavy hits. Linko doing a good amount of damage. They're picking off that Raven, continuing to encroach. Just reducing those tank numbers ever so slightly, but they will end up losing their lives. So now Linko has the rough decision of where does he want to advance. And oh, it's a good game! Linko with the nukes. Now I just want to take a brief look at all the nuke points in the game. If we go to these graphs... There, there was, there was some, some drops right there. This is where a magician... There was a nuke and there was a nuke. Let's look at the resource collection rate. Can you find out where the nukes happen? Well, there was one here. There's uh, another one here. Nice. Yes, they are. They are requesting that I save it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it as... Uh, oops, my finger was one letter over Nick. <laughs> uh, i got to spell this appropriately. <laughs> Nick's. 
All right, now it does seem that we'll be going on to a deciding game five after this.